as you can see, never use transfer, strong transfer tape on a strong mat. Now I have to scrape this thing off and kill my board or my mat. Have oh, fun with this. Ugh. Can't believe this happened. What am I gonna do? I hear my husband snoring right now, sorry about that. But what am I gonna do here? Let's try this. Can't hold the camera while doing this. See if I can do. No, nope, I can't hold the camera while doing this. I need two hands. It's ridiculous. But yeah, this is what happens when you put transfer tape, strong transfer tape on a strong mat. Just don't do that to a cricket. Oh, it says I still can't send it because it's not long enough. Sorry, Instagram. I just I don't know what to say to this. I cannot believe this happened. Now my Kirk's waiting for me. <sighs> so upset. I'm using my um, flat tool that you use to take the paper off. I'm using that as my scraper right now because my other scraper doesn't work well with this kind of thing. This situation I'm in. I'm so sorry, Cricket. I worked up your mat. <laughs> I'm either going to have to buy a new one or clean this the way I need to. So we'll see. Oh, so annoying. I can't believe I accidentally did this by accident. Okay, so what happened was is I'm trying to get these things right here onto these plastic things that come with the Cricut. Just so I know which one's which so I don't keep losing the clear thing. And I decided to use a strong mat for once, and I never opened it, and then I finally did, and you can see what happened. <laughs> transfer tape issue with the bottom of the transfer tape, not the top of the transfer tape. That's right here. It was the bottom of the transfer tape. I can't believe this happened. What am I going to do? Okay, I guess I just keep scraping then. Let's see here tried this. Oh, I'm not a cricket expert, I know this, but I should know better to do this, but whatever. It happens, happens. I just gotta get it off now. That's gonna be the hard part. It's coming off kind of. I'm so glad I bought the cricket tools. If I wouldn't have, I would have been screwed here, and I wouldn't have a scraper to use. Yeah, when I bought my Cricut, I got a bundle deal. Oh, I sold all my video games to get this, and it was worth it. So I didn't know this was going to happen. I just wanted to get my stuff done today and label my stuff. But I found out the plastic doesn't even stick to the vinyl. So that's a problem, too. Yeah. Plastic doesn't stick to the freaking vinyl. So how am I going to label this stuff? I'm going to try maybe whiteboard. Um, I have right here. Whiteboard. Yeah. Whiteboard vinyl. Dry erase vinyl. Let's see if that works. I'll just draw my thing. Or write my thing instead. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is really hard to deal with. Um, let's see here. Jeez, I can't believe I did this. This is going to take at least a whole day just to get this off. And I have to get off now because if it, the adhesive sticks to the paper long enough, then I won't be able to get it off, period. I'm just going to have to buy a new mat. I wish this Cricut mat would stay in my hand, but it's just it's having issues here. <sighs> keeps moving off the table. The 
Victoria, if you're watching this, tell your mom I screwed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I did this. Oh, take the transfer tape off it. If I don't take the transfer tape off, then I'm going to have an issue here. I'm going to be scraping transfer tape, and I don't want to ruin my transfer tape. This is the strong transfer tape, so it's, you know, way better. I can't believe I did this. Okay, I'm not using this strong mat anymore. I know, I don't even know what it's really for. It's scraping my skin right now, this strong mat. I can't believe I did this. Does anyone else have a cricket? I was wondering that. Does anyone else have a cricket? Sorry, I repeated myself. I'm just concentrating. Oh, I don't want to come off. Oh, it's stuck on my finger. Okay. I don't want to break my tool either. So I gotta be very gentle, even though I don't have my own strength sometimes. I got a hair on this thing now. Great. Strong mats are such a bitch. So I just swear, but it's true. I did not expect this to happen. I usually use the standard mat, but instead I use the strong mat for the transfer tape, and now you can see what happened. <sighs> This transfer, I mean, this mat and transfer tape gets stuck to your hand easily. Ow, look at my hand. That's the mat being strong with the adhesive and getting on my hand. Ouch. That hurts. I use the plastic as a shield. Maybe. But it'll go flying everywhere, but oh well. on you. Come on. I can't believe I did this. Okay, that's not a piece of the right here. That's a scratch. I scratched up the mat now. Great. If I do this. No. Okay. Not going to do that. Got it. There we go. Have we done? Not even. I should probably just turn off the cricket part right now. There we go. This is going to take so long. It keeps getting stuck. <sighs> okay, there we go. <gasps> Almost got it. There we go. the bottom. <clears throat> Almost. <sighs> oh my god, stop moving. It keeps getting stuck to my hands. Everything's getting stuck to my hands though. The paper, the smat, everything. I'm never using a strong man again unless I really need to, but this is ridiculous. I have a light paper cardstock, so that wouldn't really work anyway with a strong mat. I need a standard. 
And I gotta look up what mat you use for certain things because this will come in handy next time I do this. And I'll be a dummy this time. And do this. Okay, come on. Work with me. Oops. Oh, my hand's getting so tired. The plastic is leverage, just so I can actually get a grip on it. Ha, huh, get it? Because it's a strong grip. <laughs> I'm not funny. Okay, let's do this. It keeps getting stuck to me. Okay, we got one end. Finger. Almost done. Come on. There we go. Okay, that's good, I think. Now I just gotta get the little bits off. Move my plastic. And it fell on the ground. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Nope, so I gotta get the bits off. Okay. So use that for this, maybe? Yeah, I can. I'm literally just wiping it on my shirt now. Because I just, I'm so sick of this. Sorry, people have PTSD doing it. I'm doing this. I'm just trying to clean the mat off. Okay. And we put it here and never use it again. Okay. Put it there and never use it again. <sighs> I can't believe that happened. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'm sorry this happened. Anyway, bye. Wait, can I? I can't send it yet? What the heck? Okay, I guess I can't send it yet. Okay. This is my cricket area. That's my cricket area. Anyway, there's where the mats go. Strong grip, which I'm never touching again. Standard is right there. Light grip, I got three of them. And then fabric I haven't used yet because I don't work with fabric yet. Anyway. Oh. Oh, I left a paper right here. <sighs> quit the live stream anyway this is what I was doing and now look at this the vinyl is stuck to the strong grip so I don't know what to do here I don't know how to fix it and I don't know how I'm gonna do this but probably it's gonna be this one See, uh, what? There we go. Dry erase. I have a dry erase marker, I think. Let me look. I also have labels, but that's not gonna work. Do I have a dry erase marker? And eh, we'll find out. Okay. So I gotta redo this, and then just get rid of this all. Let's get rid of it all. Delete. Delete. So instead of labeling, I'm just gonna cut out certain shapes and then I will make it look better. Okay. Shapes. 
Let's do a square. Okay, let's do a square then. Okay, so I need how many squares? Oh, sorry about that. My husband fell asleep with the TV on. Duplicate. So I need three of these for small grip. And then I need um <laughs> he's snoring. The okay, three of the light grip, one strong grip, and then one fabric, and then one one standard. Okay. Now I remember. Standard grip. And now I need to get the whiteboard one out, which is going to take a while, so I hope I can turn this off soon. Uh, three. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay. Make. It's a cut? Yes. Okay. Let's see what, how I'm going to do this. It's going to go here. Oh my God. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Here. And let's do it this way. It'll be easier. I wonder how you use whiteboard vinyl. I'm using this for the first time too, so I don't know how to do this yet. But we'll learn as we go. There we go. Okay, so that is nine. Nine to halfway to seven and six. Okay. So I need to make the thing now. Okay, I need to open this. That's going to be fun. Here. Look at my cab thing while I'm doing this. I gotta open it. So I hope this doesn't fall. Do this. There we go. Okay, look at that. It's all the options. So the options. And then I'm gonna open this and see if it works. It's called whiteboard vinyl, okay. Okay, I need to cut it. Okay. I have a cool cutting tool for that. I guess I'll show it. Hold on. Okay. This is my Cricut cutting tool. Let's do it. Okay. This is the whiteboard vinyl. I'll look this up. Okay. It's very roly poly, so I gotta be careful here. Okay. And how much again? Halfway to six and then nine, I think. So I'll just grab this much. <laughs> Keeps falling. Okay. That's close enough. Might be a little fat, so we'll see if this works. Instead of tight, um, like you know, I'm just gonna write it. Sorry if you can't see this, I'm trying to, I need hands. And I roll up my, my vinyl and my fabric and stuff, so it has issues. Well, not fabric. Vinyl and iron-on. I roll it up with a staple, or not a staple, a paper clip. So I have to use both hands. Okay. You turn back. There we go. I'm flattening it. It's not straight though. Shoot. It's not straight. 
guess it's flat now, so that'll be fine. Is there a way I could hold this up? Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Is that good? Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do this. It's not covering the camera, but we'll see. Okay, I gotta make it straight. Come on, you. Work with me. Not straight enough yet. That's straight enough. Let's just edit this thing just in case. So it's not too close to the rim. And it's tight. Okay, we got plenty. Could even go down if you wanted to. Don't lower. There we go. Okay, now I need to go through. Here we go. I need to go through. Where's the camera? Go through this product material. And it's called. It's um. Category as. Vinyl. Dry erase vinyl. I'm gonna heart that. We'll star it so I know. Okay, it's the first time using this. I can't look up a tutorial, so let's try it. It's all flattened? Yep. Okay, I need both hands. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, let's cut some squares. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't, oh gosh. Okay. cutting squares right now. Oh, I forgot I have my dots. I could use my dots for this instead of vinyl tape. Where are my dots? There they are. There we go. These are dots. These are what I use to stick stuff to stuff that won't stick. Or if I don't want to use glue. Yeah, so let's try it. Nope, it's done. Good job. Let's take a look. You can't really see it, but you can see it in a way. Let me turn my light. There we go. That's how you can see it better. You can kind of see the lining. Okay, let's start with the weeder. It's called a weed, weeder tool. We weed the thing. So now we gotta take the tip. Come on. I have no clue how this works yet. So let's hope it works. I think I'm just supposed to pull it apart. I don't know. Let's see. Because it's vinyl and vinyl goes up two ways. It's got two layers. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is, right there. Two layers. There we go, that's how you do it. Okay, ready? I'm gonna pull. There we go. Perfect squares. There we go. And then I just take this and crumple it up because I can't use it again. Because I don't keep the paper that goes under it. Okay, so we got perfect squares. Now this is the tricky part. I need to grab the plastic that I dropped. Yeah. And... It's the plastic for the standard, I think. So let's just do the leg grip for now. Okay, so the leg grip is going to have a square. And i got to find my dry erase marker. Where is it? Oh, where's my dry erase marker? Come on.
There it is. Found it. Okay. So I found out you can touch... Because the vinyl won't stick to the plastic. So the best part you could do is take the plastic and take the dots. And then write down what you want. Okay. So let's grab one of these with my reader. Wherever that went. There it is. And let's do this very carefully. Okay. Let's hope this sticks. I'm going to try to stick it, but if I can, I'll use the dots. Okay. I don't even need the transfer tape. It sticks so well. And then I'll let that bubble up. Do the dry erase, or the next one I mean, after the dry erase marker, I'll do that later. Okay, next one. Oh, there we go, got it before I did it. There we go, another one done. These are light grips right here, if you didn't know. The blue is light grip, the green is standard, and I only have one of those, I need to get another one. And then we know what the purple one was. And then the pink one's fabric. Okay, the light grips are done. Now we gotta grab our stupid strong grip. went through hell and back for geez there it is okay let's put the one on there might be a little crooked but that's okay make sure you get those bubbles out if you can't and uh, I don't try to. I don't try to press as hard as I can because I'm going to have a big issue with that. Okay, I need the fabric one. Okay, I never use the fabric one. Even the name is still on it. I haven't used fabric yet. I don't dare try. But I have used iron on. If you saw my Instagram, I made t-shirts. Okay, that one's good. Now I gotta go pick up the plastic I dropped. And then I think we're good for the day. See, it's hard to see. So you gotta be very careful and label them. If you don't label them, you won't find them. <laughs> okay, last one. Here we go. This is my, my weeder to pick up this thing. Then I can take this off. And then I can put it right there. I gotta see where it goes first. Um, put this right here for a second. Okay. Then take this off with the tool. Luckily, it's a standard grip, so it comes off pretty easily. This is why I prefer standard and light grip over anything. <sighs> Like it's, mm, I need to fix this area right here. I just cleaned my wards the other day, so it's like, yeah, they're not that sticky as they used to be. But at least they're still sticky. Okay, last one. Here we go. Here we go. I put it in the dot area where the cross is. So that's how I know where it is and where the center is. Okay, let's write it. Okay. This is my pen. Let's write it. This is... Sorry if my handwriting is shitty. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. Stand. 
third grip. That's it. I didn't add enough space. Oh well, who cares? Okay, dry erase is done. Let that dry. Fix my G. Here we go. Let me put that on my chair. Oh, okay, next one. Throw this away. Okay, this is strong. on the ground safer Just don't step on them okay fabric I don't know like grips these are the big ones because I use these the most you can tell they're all like they have marker and shapes on them Oh, put it too close to her. Yeah, I did. I was right on the whole thing. That's why I like dry erase marker and stuff. Okay, right. I write way too fast. Let's do one. That's one. I like ordering stuff in order. So let's do that then. Light. Group. Two. Light. Group. Oh, I messed up too bad. Okay. Sorry, I didn't show that. Right. Oh, did I do a capital G? Oh, shit. There, that's like group three. And that's it. I hope I can turn this off because that's it. Where can I send this? Thanks for... Can I send this?